Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What a day of foot we had today, day two of winter refresh. And I mean, what a day for multiple different reasons. Um, we had some crazy, insane fluctuations on cards today in foot, and I'm talking about prime icon moments. I wanna look at some of these cards today, talk through some of these movements with you guys, talk over how to trade with these cards, and also look at the rest of the market as well and kind of talk about that. This Owen card is, these cards fluctuate so much, man. It's ridiculous. If you're a high dollar trader, high coin amount trader, these cards are a gold mine. They're risky, but they're a gold mine because they actually have supply. People are packing them, which I think is bringing some coins onto this game at the high tier level. Um, you know, people have coins already there, but I think people are really going out and trying these cards. And that's part of why you're seeing the market kind of downturn. So I want to talk about like the market downturn, why we're in kind of like a low state, and then possibly uh, some other, you know, market movements that we've seen, and maybe some stuff looking ahead into next week a little bit as well, right? Um, with some of these winter refresh cards, are they going to be flippable into the next morning, overnight, stuff like that? Do these cards move? And then um, also just talking about how stupid low some of the SBC market is right now as well. Um, and, and actually, we need probably should talk about the lack of content that we got today on foot as well. So let's start with talking with that. Today's content on foot was honestly pretty abysmal, right? We got an upgraded League SBC player and an upgraded Milestone player. The Bundesliga League player, uh, what is it? It's the League player uh, Verstrate got his um, the unlock, basically, for the Bundesliga League player upgrade. So he goes from an 86 to an 88. Basically the same thing that Politano got. We got that today. So that was our one piece of content. And our other piece of content that we got today was the uh, refresh on the League SBC for the uh, La Liga. Was it La Liga? I think it was La Liga. Yes, it was La Liga. It was Correa. So this was the content that we basically got today and a pack SBC as well. So that's not too bad. You know, if you're a low budget trader, if, if you love doing League SBCs, this is nice for you because you're getting one of these. I assume you're going to get one or two of these upgrades every day because, you know, there's how many League SBCs? There's more than seven League SBCs, and I bet they will upgrade these basically every day. So I would expect to see one or two of these get upgraded every day. I would almost expect that. Um, but everything else in the game today was just kind of meh, right? Like they dropped lighting rounds. We just didn't have a ton of content, and that caused a, a multitude of things to happen on the market today. What is this? Another Di Maria sold. So I've started flipping a few things. Uh, I bought these two while I was live on stream at 39 and 40,000 coins. So it's not a lot of profit, but it's knowing fluctuations and knowing these, what these cards do. Uh, this Di Maria is 45,000 coins almost all day. Uh, and then tonight I saw him at 39K and I thought this is an out of packs in form. Uh, you just have to trust that the market will pick it back up, right? The market is down but we're not really in like a free fall. And I mentioned this today when I was on stream a little bit too, that we're, you know, we're in a market downturn. We're not really in a market recession or like a panic, like a market crash. This isn't a crash that I would say. This is more of just like a regression, just a little bit. And it's only a regression in kind of like the informs and like the special card market. Like we, if we actually go on Footbin and look at the index special, the part of the market that is actually going down the most, which which rebounded today because no content came. So when no content comes, you have stuff like this happen that people just go out and they use cards. Um, but the market is kind of just going down in this area because um, people lost a lot of coins um, with the winter upgrades stuff and with the, uh, the just no SBCs coming out and there's packs being open and stuff like that But people have lost a lot of coins from the upgrades and specifically cards that didn't get upgraded, right? Who knows about all these cards Ricardo Pereira or you know some of these guys that didn't get winter refresh upgrades I think it's easier to search them this way Ricardo Pereira a lot of people have lost coins this weekend because of These cards that were supposed to get upgrades the informs that they invested in that did not end up getting upgrades um, and that's where a lot of the market downturn is because these cards are falling in price. People are losing coins, so they're having to sell cards to go do other things in the game. Uh, not that there's a ton to do, uh, but if you wanted to do Arthur or if you wanted to do any of the player of the months that have come out, like Haaland uh, or whatever, I wouldn't recommend doing that SBC anyway. Uh, but that's where you're seeing a, a most of the market turn downturn is just some of these special cards on the game that... Um, 
people are selling to kind of get coins to just do stuff, right? I also think that part of this downturn is due to uh, people selling cards so that they can go and afford a Prime Icon Moments uh, card. Because these Prime Icon Moments, man, they're not actually super duper rare. I think we're all a little bit surprised. And you might say, yo, these are pretty rare. Last year, you would only see like one or two of these cards. The second day, like half of these cards were still extinct. Now, yes, we do have guys at the very top tier that are still almost extinct. But, you know, uh, some of these cards with the insane boost that they have, uh, I think EA did up the pack weight on these a little bit uh, and make them a little bit more packable because you're seeing, like, look at this Skulls. Skulls has a decent amount of supply. I know he's only a million coins, doesn't have a ton of hype, but during the hype, like the heat of the day today, he had like three pages on compare price. So there is a decent amount of supply for these icon moments, which I think is interesting to a lot of people. Not really something that we expected, but right now there's a lot of focus just on the icon. So there's probably a lot of people that are going out and selling some of their special cards that might be somewhere in the range of like 200 to five, 600,000 coins. And what they're doing instead is they're going out and they're um, trying out these prime icon moments, right? And you're seeing a lot of fluctuation of these cards because people are just buying them whenever they see them because they want to try them out. And it's making some of these cards that weren't really quote unquote usable before, it's making them really usable. I just uh, looked at that Owen card. I added in my transfer targets. This Owen right here, I want to show you guys his graph on Footbin because I want to talk about these cards for a second because if you're somebody who is somewhere around like the million coin range, like one to two million coin range, that's all you need to get started with trading with these cards if you have that amount liquid. Look at what Michael Owen did today in price. This was honestly incredible. Incredible what happened today. He was really, really expensive last night. Two million coins. He dropped down today right around the content drop time. He was 1.4 mil. I actually have... At the beginning of my stream and even on my like companion app when I was watching cards today, this card was down at 1.3 million coins. 1.3 flat he went for on bid. Look what he rebounded to. 1.9, I actually, somebody told me, I didn't see it. They saw him sell at 1.6, 1.6, but I've seen him now sold at 1.5. So if you got him at 1.3, he now sells at like 1.5. Another one that is, is just all over the place in terms of fluctuation is the Shearer card, all right? And you know, it could be just the fact that these cards got massive upgrades and they actually look usable compared to their other icon counterparts, like their other, the base, middle, and prime, because some of these stats are awesome. But Shearer was 990K this morning. And all of a sudden today, this morning, people are like, I think somebody's hyped up this card somewhere because he went from a million coins, under a million coins, all the way up to 1.8, which probably he didn't sell there, right? And then down to like 1415 where he was for most of the afternoon today. I've seen this guy sell at 1.5 mil. 1.5 million coins. So somebody could have easily made 500,000 coin profit with that card right there. And the really the question is why? Why do these cards fluctuate so much and why do people still buy them? People buy them because they're new. They're accessible on the market for a lot of this user base, to be honest, um, because they're not as rare as we thought they were going to be. And the stat boosts are insane. There's probably a lot of people out there that, that would they would go ahead and sell two 500,000 coin players to get enough coins or go sell the Rodrigo FFS to go try out an icon moments card with a dynamic image with the cool, you know, icon look like the black and white sort of image look with the boosted stats. And a lot of these cards look mental, man. And I think that's another reason why you're seeing some of the market move today. Even some of these center backs that have moments are moving. Hierro's 92. This card fluctuated anywhere from like one point. He's 1.1 million coins right now. Can I show you his graph? Can I show you his graph? The reason why I'm not super pumped about like maybe trying to flip him right now is because he's a center back and there's probably not as many people going out to try a center back than there are going to try a striker or a midfielder, right? What was he on Friday? First day Friday, he's down he's 2 million coins. 1.5. I doubt he sold up here too. He's down to 1.5 again. 1.170. He was 1.3, 1.4 all day today. I saw this card get listed at 125 and get insta sniped and then sold again at 135, almost 1.4 mil. And now he's back down to almost uh, like he's almost a million coins flat, man. If I see this guy at like 1050, I'm going to add this to my transfer targets actually. Okay, there's a 113 overnight. That's a bit sus. If I see this guy at like a million coins, then I'm definitely going to pull the trigger because these cards are rare 
and people are, are trying them out. Even some of the, the one guy I had on my transfer list, who was it? It was a center back, Italian, Baresi. People are paying 1.2 million for this card right here. If I see like one, one flat for him, I'm probably going to go for him as well. These cards, again, if you're somebody who wants to trade with these, now it is ballsy. You do have to incur some risk, right? Because these cards are going to fluctuate a lot and all it takes is an SBC or something. And the market starts to panic a little bit on these because people need coins. But this is a very, very good way to be trading in the game right now if you're on a high coin budget. Um, and if you're on a low coin budget, I don't think this market panic is really going to last that long. I think there's a lot of ways where you can just trade with players right now on this game. Um, one specific player that I was just watching tonight that fluctuated a ton besides that Di Maria was this Rodrigo card. The FFS Rodrigo, who is currently, I think, 800,000 coins, right? Is he 800K? He's 800K, 799, 750 open bids. I have, you know what? The one that's on my transfer list, this might be a good way to see. This is the one on my transfer list that I watched, right? Sold at 840,000 coins. This card is just rare. These FFS cards are rare cards out of packs. So he sold at 840, right? So if you buy him, you know that he fluctuates up to 840K. He, This card was 779K at one point earlier today. I'm watching these two cards right here on bid to see if I can get them at like 770 or below because I know that I can sell them at 840 to 850 uh, on the weekends, right? So maybe there's a little bit more panic selling, but this is the type of card that people are still going to be wanting for their team. And again, like I show with that Di Maria, I bought both of these cards at around uh, 40K and 39,000 coins for each of these, sold them at 45 in about two hours time frame. So flipping is still very alive and very active on this market. I feel like the market has coins. I feel like also the market is expecting big time SBCs. And I do think we're going to see, we could see more downturn on the market later this week, depending on what SBCs do come out. But like the, the trading and stuff is still very, very doable right now in terms of what stuff is moving on the market. Now, I want to start looking at a couple extra cards, a couple different groups of cards this week. As we get into um, the, the time of the year where Road to the Finals come back into play. There's a couple things that I want to talk about at the end of this video in terms of market movements for the next couple of days. These Road to the Final cards are getting kind of low, especially with their prices right now. I'm going to refresh this. Allen's 237. He's usually 250, 260. Sancho is low. Mares is low. Uh, Dybala is kind of low. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Coleman was like 325, 330 earlier. That's pretty low. Some of these guys play this week, right? Champions League games this week. We have Atletico Madrid, Liverpool, Dortmund PSG, Tottenham and Leipzig and Valencia and Atlanta, right? So we have some, we have four games this week that we really need to keep our eyes on and watch these OTW cards or not ones to watch, watch these road to the final cards, because there's going to be some movements with these cards this week, whichever cards win. If any of these cards win the champions league road to the finals, only champions league road to the final cards only will get upgraded after their first win. The Europa Leagues will not. But if any of these cards that play on Tuesday or Wednesday win, right? So let's say um, Dortmund is playing PSG. Let's say Dortmund pulls it out. That's why I come, I'm a fan of Sancho right now. Because PSG, obviously, as we saw them play today, they are not playing so hot. Dortmund has been playing decently well with Holland and, and those guys. They've been playing pretty well. This Sancho card, if they win against PSG... Whoever wins that first round, if it's a draw, nobody gets upgraded. But whoever wins in that first first half of the the first leg of that first round, if that makes sense, uh, that card will get upgraded for all these guys that do play. So, but regardless, these guys are going to fluctuate a ton, and we'll talk about more of those later on in this week. We also need to talk about Player of the Month Neymar, man. Player of the Month Neymar um, is probably going to be coming out pretty soon. The voting for the, his SBC ended tonight, so midnight tonight, uh, a couple, like for whatever, what would have been, like maybe six hours ago uh, in France time, what is it, like uh, six hours ahead of me, the voting ended for player of the month of January. So if you want to do Ben Yedder, by the way, not a bad time to do this because fodder is low, but I do think that Neymar player of the month is coming. What does that mean for this market? Compare what happened or what's going to happen with this card to what happened last time with the Messi SBC. We, since we have had the Messi SBC, we kind of can just think about and kind of plan 
for what we think is going to happen, right? This Neymar card is down. He was 4.4 mil today. He's right about 4.5 right now. I think the Neymar and the other special cards have dropped a little. You can't quote me on that. I don't watch them too close, but I think some of the, in the inform has dropped a little. His gold card is chilling kind of around the same price, right around 800K. Um, but I think Neymar is going to win player of the month, and that's going to be an SBC that a lot of people will want to do, especially if it's center attack in mid, which it should be. I'll have a separate video on that for you guys, so don't worry about that. We'll cover that in a separate video. But this is going to be a big time market movement this week, right? I think you're going to see icons prices that are affected because of this. You're going to see future stars and other cards on the market that are high dollar amount. You're going to see them affected by this. And you're also going to see a lot of people like us affected by this and what happens with this SBC. Because just like the messy SBC, people are starting to invest in high rated fodder. And we're going to take a look at the cheapest players by rating because this stuff is getting low again. It's been low, 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 and people are going ham on these cards now. Um, and I would recommend doing a club stock. 83s were 1K flat today. They're up two or 300 coins. 86s are 14K. 85s are 7 to 8. 84s are like two, two and a half, 3K. Like all of this fodder stuff is just stupid, stupid low. So if you have not done a club stock, I would highly recommend going and doing that especially with maybe some of the PSG players like Verratti, like Di Maria, Thiago Silva, Cavani, stuff like that. I would recommend doing a club stock on this stuff because it is low. It is very, very low. And all it takes is one or two SBCs for this to start going up in price. But this is stuff that I think is causing the market right now to see this as a huge investment opportunity. You know, we're not getting a ton of SBCs from EA right now. Like if we look at the active challenges, we didn't get any SBCs today. I would expect to get more player SBCs during this promo. Uh, but our last player SBC that we had other than a player of the month was Moments Arthur. And that was on Thursday. So we've gone Friday and Saturday without a technically like a player SBC. So I hope that we get one today. I don't expect a lot of content on a Sunday, but hopefully on a Monday we do get content. And of course, if the mid icon SBC were to come out, that would affect these cheapest by players rating prices as well. So these are really cheap. People are investing in these a lot. And again, just be careful. That's why I'm saying doing a club stock. I'm not a huge fan of going on a sign because then you can't use the market to trade and like trade with fluctuations and stuff. Like what I did with these Dean Maria's today, you just can't do that. If you don't have coins to be able to trade with liquid and if you don't have if you're on a sign you can't open packs and if you're trading with cards as well uh you're not going to be able to find them and you're unassigned if you're unassigned because you run the risk of that card not actually popping up in the front for you that's a risky thing to do i would not recommend trying to trade with unassigned or forget that you're an unassigned so i'm not a huge fan of that but if that's something that you're into then you definitely have an opportunity to go into that unassigned uh, right around now because those cards are really, really stinking cheap. So again, I haven't talked about the winter refresh players. Um, these cards, we'll go back to footbin for this for a second. These cards are still chilling kind of low right now. They're kind of low right now. Will they rise up into Sunday? I'm not entirely sure. This guy has a little bit of hype. We can look and see what happened yesterday. He was 70K, rose up to 96, back down to 68. He's actually 60K right now. So I'm actually a little bit tempted because I could easily see him being 70K in the morning. We'll take a look at him in the moment. Um, but all these cards are on the market now. Ibra's down some. A lot of these cards are down a little bit. Florenzi, 175. Bernat, 45. Areola, 60K. He rose up a bit into the day yesterday. So what I would say with these is, if they're still low at the time you're watching this video, just be careful. There's a possible opportunity you could flip them. See, he went from 70 to 86. And he's down 10K from where he was yesterday. So, you know... Yesterday, he went from 68 to almost 88. So we're almost up 20K, 15 to 20K increase. If he only goes up 10K, then that's still a possible investment. Just be careful with that though, if you're interested in it. Again, check the supply. But this is again, one of those cards. They, they said that this promo and the players they put in packs, they put them in because they wanted to make for interesting new squad building opportunities or to fill a niche on the market where there wasn't a lot of special cards, right? So... French goalkeepers, all we have is your Reese, basically. So Areola was filling a niche, filling a hole that was not really... Come Now, you know what? There wasn't a lot of French goalkeepers in this game. A lot of people have French back lines, especially with the Varane, Langley, stuff like that. So this guy, this kind of guy is a is a great, great kind of card for that. Areola has a decent amount of supply, though, at 66K. So I don't really know if I see him going up overnight. What about Cornette? 
What about Cornette really quick? Let me take a look at him. He's also 60K. And we use the 10K minimum buy now to get rid of his inform and his UCL card, which actually we're going to have to use a 30K low price to get that inform out of there. So he's about 62K at the moment. 62,000 coins for Cornette. How much, how much supply do we have at 72? We have like one page, two page. So this would be more of a card I'd be interested in, right? Not a lot of overnights. There's really not a lot of overnights. So at 60,000 coins for this, I might be a buyer. I might be a buyer somewhere around 60K. If I can snag one of these, because I mean, of course, there's a lot of people that are using this card right now because he links to the new objective Osaman. Um, you know, we have some other other LR, you know, future stars LR a lot of people are using. So I think there's a little bit of hype around this guy. It, we don't have a lot of right wings in the, the Lee gun. So this would be a guy that I would expect to rise out of packs as well. Three star skills, but a five star weak foot. Five star weak foot is huge. Solid looking card. So if you want to take the risk, maybe you go to look to trade with, with a few of these, uh, a few of these new cards. Ake as well is an interesting one. And of course, don't forget that you can trade with these cards with chem styles. You can trade with these new cards with chem styles on them. So Ake right now is 190 something K. It says 195, except uh, Fupin says 187. Interesting. How much does uh, Ake go with the shadow though? There is an Ake at 215 with the shadow. Interesting. So if I see that this sells, that could be an interesting little scenario because people like to buy these new cards with chem styles on them, right? So maybe you look through these, these list of players, look through this new winter refresh list for some of the attackers and some of the defenders that need the shadow or the hunter and look to, to fluctuation trade with them uh, because that'll be a pretty solid way to trade. That's what I did during future stars uh, because that's another way to add some, some coins onto the value of the cards that you are trading with, with the chem style. So Another little bit of a long video today. I apologize for that. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.